Welcome back, Baron Nation, to this very special broadcast, yet another alumni interview. Today, we are with former BTV teacher, Mr. Rum. And Mr. Rum, what are you up to nowadays? It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's a totally different environment now with education, but still plugging away with uh, Choice Academy and still have my, as you're well aware, since you're in, the AP microeconomics class and just uh, getting ready to finish up the year, and hopefully you guys are going to have some good scores on the AP test, right? Yeah, for sure. Living the dream. <laughs> so it's been five years since you were the last since you were last on the BTV stage as the BTV head. How does it feel to come out of your BTV retirement? <laughs> well, as all those alumni will probably uh, attest, I was I was on camera very little, Alex. So you don't you don't know how lucky you are to get this interview. Um, I just realized since you just said it that it's been five years. It doesn't seem possible that it's been that long since I've been on a BTV. So it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you were the first teacher of BTV, is that correct? That is correct. Actually, uh, BTV started, believe it or not, in the media center in my office in just a little basically back closet. It was myself. Uh, Trent Miller, back in those days, probably, I don't know if I won't even remember Trent, was my technical guy. He was fantastic. He's actually a pilot now. And then, um, I don't know, I had several anchors, but um, Amanda Bach and Hillary Rollins were two staples. There were others. Uh, I, I apologize not remembering all the names, but, yeah, it's been a long time since BTV started. But, yep, I started it years ago. All right, so... For those that may not know the certain time period, can you remind us of the years that you were in the program? Oh, yeah. I wish I could. Um, what would it have been? Early 2000s? 2011 is when it started. Yeah, when, when BTV was in the classroom, I think. Is that, I, don't, I don't remember, honestly. But, but I mean, we, before it was a class. 2011 to 2015. Yeah, and before it was a class, we had just, you know, we just did it as a club kind of thing. So it started as a club and then it transformed into a class? Exactly. Yeah, when it was a club, we just got together before school to push out announcements and it wasn't nearly as big as it is now. Well, that's really cool. So are there any any funny memories, any like resonating moments that you still remember from your BTV days? <laughs> um, a lot of good memories. Uh, I know you've had Mitch Fee on and he, he had put together – you know, the BTV awards, which I don't know if those still happen or not, but uh, one year he had my son when Eli was probably in, geez, I don't know, third or fourth grade, maybe. <laughs> he had a contest for, you know, best rum, and uh, Eli ended up winning that one. So that was that was a good moment. That was funny. He got Eli on camera, and I don't know, Alex, there's, there's so many great memories. Um, you know, when we, when we started Battle of the Homes, when we did the homeroom competitions, those were those were a lot of fun. Probably one of my favorite skits that we put together was the This is DeKalb skits based off of, you know, the This is Sports Center. Yeah, that's right. yeah we had a couple pretty good ones with that. And I don't know, just, just too many memories to even remember, honestly. That's pretty cool. Do you have any uh, final words? Like, do you have any words of advice to the student body or those in BTV? Wow. Um, those, those in BTV, I can say, you know, we've had some, some excellent graduates from BTV that have gone on to success. Uh, Randy Orr comes to mind. She is now, you know, she was, she was a very quiet BTV or she was always behind the scenes and now she's working for Wayne TV, which is fabulous. Mitch, I think, is now in New York, if I remember right. Yeah, he said Brooklyn. Right. And then uh, Jack Bassett just graduated from IU Media School and, you know, Again, too many to name. I'm, I know I'm leaving a lot out, but those are three that came to mind. So uh, BTV, and I think I remember um, if it was Mitch or Bruce when I saw their interviews mentioning, you know, what a great foundation that was for them as they move forward looking into media specialties. Um, it's just a great opportunity. And, you know, in these trying times, as you are, are working so hard to, to keep interviews going, you know, in, in this kind of a fashion and not face-to-face, -face, it's tough. But uh, you know, just keep plugging away. And to the to the class of 2020, it's obviously not the way any of them wanted to finish the year, I'm sure. But uh, you know, what doesn't 
you know, I don't know. It's just they'll they'll persevere, and this will all make this will make them all stronger. I'm sure in the long run. That's really cool. Thank you. Do you have any final words? Any final shout outs? Is there anything you want to leave to those watching as we wrap up this interview? Um, geez, I not really. I uh, you know listening to the speeches you've had with the other alumni it was. It was a pleasure to see all those those people that I had in class, and it was really neat. And I appreciate you putting this together. It's a pretty pretty cool thing. BTV was was a lot of fun, a lot of work. Um, you know, they, uh, none of them shared any of the of the trying times because you know, well, you've had me in class, Alex. So you you realize sometimes I can be a little tough. Oh, yeah. And uh, every one of those kids you had on that I had in class, we we absolutely had moments where things weren't the greatest. Um, cause I pushed them pretty hard. And, you know, one of the great memories is, you know, with the, the senior three words videos we put together, um, you know, as you know, that's a, that's a tough project when you have over 350 seniors to give. And I can still remember on the whiteboard, we had every student's name and I assigned East BTV kids so many, so many kids and they were required to get them. And as you're well aware, I'm sure all of your kids have seen BTV, you know, I heard all the excuses. You no, know, oh, well, then they don't want to do it. They, you know, we can't get them. We can't do it. Oh, they can't find time. And I just didn't accept any of those. You know, I I made them get those videos. And those first couple of years, those three words videos were were fantastic. So, just uh, I guess final words. You know, don't ever give up. Don't 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 take no for an answer and and push through everything. All right. Thank you, Mr. Rum. Uh, that's all I have for now, Barons. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rum, once again for joining us on this alumni interview and your willingness to be interviewed. And I'd like to thank you for the contributions that you made to the program, really laying the, the groundwork for us that are currently in BTV and Mr. Kemp and us that are able to pick up on what you laid back at then. So thank you for that. Appreciate that, Alex. Uh, yeah, that's all I have, Barons. We'll see you later.